side too with the blustery winds and we're already uh, feeling the damage from last night's wind situation and wind storms and we're going to continue to get gusty winds as we go through today real field 30s low 40s despite all the sunshine down into the 30s tonight and then another blustery day tomorrow upper 40s real field in the 30s wednesday windy very cool despite sunshine that, that high only around 35 that is 826 and a look at new england business now holiday shopping season has unofficially like this year, by the way. We're in the middle of an epidemic, so I think we have to be very careful about that, so you're going to be cautious with these retail sales to see if people actually are going to go out. WBZ financial editor Dave Caruso still will spend about a thousand bucks on the holiday this year, and that includes everything from gifts to food and decorations at home. In fact, the National Retail Federation expects even at that amount. It's a good time to rethink healthcare, too, because Always Health Partners offers more ways to give employees the care they want like apps for real-time answers, and virtual urgent care with Mass General Brigham providers, all while giving businesses the best as it unfolds on WBC Washington News Radio. Celebrating 100 years of public service to New England, this is WBC News Radio and iHeart Radio Station. 30s. Good morning. Monday, bright sunshine, but it's windy here in Boston once again. 48 degrees out the door this morning, and thanks for taking us with you today. I'm Jeff Brown. A lot to get to, so let's get cracking. With more than 11 million COVID cases reported in the United States, the world is trying to fight its way out of a pandemic. And big news this morning is Cambridge-based drug maker Moderna reports its vaccine candidate is showing a near 95 for a uh, long year for many of us and that our company has been in a small part of our to get to the point where we now have clear evidence of efficacy in the vaccine to prevent COVID-19. If it gets clear for emergency use, it could be available in December. Now, it was last Friday at the White House where President Trump said the federal government was preparing for widespread vaccine. Coming up on WBC News Radio, another Monday and another Monday with hopes for a COVID vaccine. Coronavirus cases continue to stampede here in Massachusetts, but some Boston school students are back in classrooms today. And where you're going, seat back to the upright position of Costco, a deal that many are passing up. Details on the way at 827. Please don't delay important heart care. I'm Dr. Doreen DeFerrier-Yay, cardiologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. Taking care of your heart is a fundamental part of overall health. Too many people are delaying important heart care appointments. You could be a good fit for our little company. Do you have any questions for me? Do you offer health benefits? Actually, we do. Even dental? We do. Choice of plan? We do. How? The Massachusetts Health Connect is Lane closed for work and heavy delays there. David Chapolino, WBZ traffic number three. What a difference just a few hours makes after this overnight rain and windstorm moved offshore. We're going to be left with some winds, otherwise clear skies, bright and sunny throughout most of the day today. Temperatures will get into the low 50s, but it will feel a whole lot colder because of the wind. Dinner time tonight is going to be chilly. We'll be back in the 30s and uh, all over the map this upcoming week, but every day features a mix of sun and clouds. For example, tomorrow we'll get around to 50 for a high. Wednesday, we're only in the upper 30s. Investigative reporter Matthew Musk. The Trump campaign is arguing that their poll observers were kept too far away to actually make sure that the mail-in ballots that were coming in were legitimate and weren't in some way part of an effort to cheat the election. And that argument has really not carried a lot of water in the decade. Because of COVID, there were restrictions in place on how close these poll watchers could get. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, the legal claim in Pennsylvania. Okay, not just here in America, but around the world. Lori Kirby, WBZ, Boston News Radio. I say 38, and it's beginning to look like Wall Street is certainly going to extend last week's huge gains. Let's check out Bloomberg Business right now and Tom Busby.
495 south is jammed for two miles getting to a work crew after Route 24. 95 northbound busy for uh, close to two miles heading to the 128 and 93 is required. With the PCU, don't work. Sports now on WBZ News Radio. Patriots battled through the rain and wind, upset the Ravens 23-17 in Foxborough. Cam Newton had two touchdowns, one in the air, another on the ground. Receiver and former high school quarterback Jacoby Myers passed for a TD. Rex Burke had caught a pair, and running back Damian Harris had his best career NFL game with 121 yards. Yards in the right now. Pass the four five and will visit the Texans Sunday. Tom Brady's Buccaneers handled the Panthers 46 23 in Carolina. Rob Gronkowski scored again. Brady counted for four touchdowns. And Dustin Johnson finished a master's Good record. Morning roadways right now on the Subaru Retailers of New England all wheel drive. Traffic on the three is David Truffolino. You're brought to us by Digital Federal Credit Union. North of the city, 495 northbound on the brakes from after Boston Road in Westford because of an earlier crash before the Chelmsford rest area. South of the city, 495 stalled off for two miles to a work crew after Route 24. Takes five minutes to sit through that backup. And then a disabled box truck blocking the right lane before exit two. On 24 north, a wall of traffic begins after Route 139 because of a crash on the ramp of 24 north. There's a crash along the way in the backup just to make that more interesting. Seven or eight minutes to get through that delay. 95 north busy for a half mile heading to the 128-93 interchange in Canton. On the expressway northbound. We actually won't get out of the 30s on Wednesday this week, but a warming trend as we head towards the uh, Vanderbilt University Medical Center says precautions will still need to be taken no matter what. You could be protected against disease yourself, but you still could be a carrier. You still could be contagious. We don't know whether that's the case that will happen for you. Have issued travel advisories urging visitors entering their states or returning home to self-quarantine for two weeks. CBS News correspondent Dee Dee Sun is at Seattle Tacoma International Airport. Speaking with people who were landing here at the airport, some of them said if they knew about this travel advisory a little bit earlier, they might have canceled their plans. But others told me they flat out are not planning to quarantine. So I think those have been things we've been working on for a while with the pandemic to your, to your question through all of this. And I think that's become that's sort of an evolving area of consciousness that I think all employers are thinking about. It's not just about providing good opportunities, good wages, but there's now, I think, a much higher level of appreciation and understanding on the safety component. Uh, and, you know, we have, uh, I think, like everybody, learned through this um, because we were initially not set up. A global investment firm as someone who is counseling world leaders all the time from an economic and from a market for sure that. Well, I think, Jason, there are a number of things on the table as that uh, Simon uh, basically said. Uh, and there, there, there are two or three, uh, three things I'd like to address. Uh, uh, in terms of education, uh, which is uh, the key, um, uh, I was in China about two years ago talking with a senior person there uh, who said they were going to be delivering um, uh, computer science education to 100% uh, of their population. BZ AccuWeather Forecast. So check it out now. The meteorologist Dean DeVore. So the wind storms last night. Now we're uh, blustering today with back to the real field temperatures uh, looking like they'll be in the low 40s at best this afternoon. Uh, then tonight.